Hello, I'm Ron Li Liao, Professor of Medicine, immediate past chair of PCBS Council. I'm so glad today with me is our winner of Outstanding Early Career Investigator Award. Hey, hello, my name is Manuel, Manuel Rosa Garrido. I'm working at UCLA and uh, yeah, I got the prize yesterday and the early career and I'm very happy for it. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Could you tell the audience a bit about your research and how you start with this project? Yeah, so I did my PhD in Spain and then I moved here to continue with my postdoc. And when I arrived to Thomas von Driscoll's lab at UCLA, we started um, studying how chromatin structure change during the development of heart failure and how these changes are affecting the expression of the genes that control the disease. So that's the general idea of the, the project that we are working on right now. So. Could you please tell us a little bit detail how you started this project and what's really the main hypothesis you are looking for? Okay, yeah, so when we started this project, we started working with a specific protein that is involved in controlling gene ex um, chromatin structure. So the idea was to check how chromatin structure was changing when this uh, protein was being downregulated. So it looked like this protein, we know that this protein is downregulated after heart failure. So what we wanted to see is how the changes uh, in chromatin structure uh, that, that you have in the genome with this uh, protein is downregulated is affecting the expression of the genes that control the disease. And that's how we started the project. And then uh, we started using a new technique called HiC that uh, is very, very nice, but very complex at the beginning to set up. Um, when we were performing this experiment, we found that there is a massive um, modification of the chromatin topology during the development of heart failure. Uh, yeah, the development of heart failure. So this one was the idea, and that's what we, what we found at the end. So we were able to um, confirm our initial hypothesis. So we are very happy with that. So in the future, the idea is to be to try to uh, use uh, new tools to be able to revert these topological changes that we have found, you know, to be able to, to try to, to revert heart failure, or at least the phenotype. Okay. Yes. Could you just elaborate a little bit more about, you mentioned this new technology, HiC, for the people who never use this and want to learn more. How can they use this technique for their research? Okay, yeah, so HiC is a technique that allows you to uh, detect all the 3D interactions that are taking place in the genome in a specific moment in the cell. So it's, it's a bit complex. So you, what you have to do is to digest the genome, and then you have to generate like a library, you know, where the fragments that are in contact in three dimensions are going to end in, a, in only one molecule. So when you perform the sequencing, your, this molecule is going to have uh, two regions of the genome, the two regions of the genome that are uh, attaching to each other. And that's how you start the, the sequencing and how you analyze the data. So it's not an easy technique, but it's very, very useful. Yeah. So it sounds like this is a technique that's it's not really easy. So maybe if audience, anybody is interested, maybe they can look you up and ask for your advice yeah. since you've been there, done that. Thank you. Yeah, uh, whatever. If you guys need to learn, uh, just put in contact, you know. Uh, it was very challenging at the beginning, but it's very rewarding when you have the data and it follow your hypothesis, of course. Collaboration is a big part of our it research is. mission. It is. In fact, we started this uh, project working with Dr. Winren from UCSD. So he was the, the person that uh, helped us uh, to start all this project, and I'm very, very thankful for that. So for a young investigator, mentorship is exclusively important. Could you tell us about your relationship with your mentor? Okay, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I mean, my relationship with him is great. I mean, Tom is such a good mentor. He's incredible. He's a guy that is always supporting you. No matter what, you know, he's the first one that uh, congratulated me yesterday with, with the prize, and he's not even here. So he takes me and tells me, man, congratulations, it's incredible. And then in the work, in the lab, it's the same, you know. It's a guy that uh, always supports me, so I'm very, very happy. I feel very, very happy to be working with him. And so during the process of this project, what do you find the most challenging uh, events or most exciting? Mm -hmm. So, Different things. So the first thing is the technical um, problems, you know, the, the, because this one is a very big uh, project. 
So for example, sequencing was a thing that it was very challenging. Learning how to analyze all this data and also, you know, try to figure out how um, to connect, you know, all these changes in chromatin topology with gene expression. It was a, it's a very hard experience, but very rewarding. It was very, very nice. So, yeah. so what's the next step? Continue for your project. Okay, for my project, next step is try to apply the things that we have found in basic science uh, and go to patients, you know. Uh, try to figure out if all the things that we have found in mouse is also a thing in, in patients. So we want to now compare um, people are healthy with uh, patients that have heart failure and try to figure out if chromatin structure also change during this, uh, in, in these patients too, you know. Wonderful, that's an ambitious yeah. goal. Yeah, so now you. you have been there, done that, and actually went through the competition and you win the awards. What's your recommendation or advice for other people who want to submit this awards and next year? What should they do? It's just they should work and they should try. When you are working in the lab, you never think that you are going to win something like that. Because you are so focused on your research that you really don't explain to people what are you doing. So just guys, uh, apply. and. See what happens. You can do it. Basically. Great. <laughs> so, as our winners say, you can do it. So, with this, persistent and continue your good work. So, thank you. Thank you very much.